Hello everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Callie's Homesteading with Pooh Bear. What I'm doing today is I'm gonna go over a couple of things that I'm working on in the yard. What I'm doing today, let me say that, I'm transferring some of the plants that I had. I have some tomato plants and some bell pepper. That's the tamale lady, I'm sorry. Oh, here comes the airplane. By clockwork, every three to five minutes. So we'll hear some helicopters or something go by. And it's up, oh, there goes Bella, there goes the dog. Okay, well, what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be looking at a lot of the vegetables that we planted last week in the um, in the sales, in the, the starter trays. So we're gonna look at that and see how things are doing. And then another thing I wanna do is I wanna go over showing you how I transferred some of my tomato plants and my um, bell pepper plants. I had to put them in five, five gallon containers because in the pots that I had them in were like this size. And they were, so I guess this is like a gallon and they were rooting. The, the roots were just, the, yeah, it wasn't going to be good. So for me, I want to get as many tomatoes, yummy tomatoes as I possibly can. So I am in the process. I have a couple more that I have to transfer over and I have to transfer over a couple of trees. So, and then also we have the raised bed that we've been working on. We're, we're going to finish that today and we're going to make the little stand that go at the bottom so that I can take all of my starters and just put them there so that they are out of the way because my goal is to get this yard clear, decluttered, and looking good. So, let's get started. The first thing that I wanna do, oh, see, so yeah. This right here, I transplanted this yesterday into this container. Now, I find these containers, and you'll see in the video that I did earlier, see, these are the Ikiban type. These are Japanese eggplant. Never had them before, but I'm looking forward to tasting them. Now, those I did buy. I bought that one already. Um, started from, I want to say Lowe's, but it might not be. It could have been Walmart. I'm not sure. But nevertheless, what I'm going to do right now is show you how oh wow i gotta get my swiss shard up okay that's another thing we're gonna have to harvest some more swiss shard because when my daughter came and she got all the bad swiss shard <laughs> <out> yesterday <laughs> hi bella hi girl you okay you want a snack wait one second let me give her her snack I thought I had another pig ear for you, Bella. Okay, wait. I'm coming. Wait one second. Let me go get her her snack. Yeah, Bella is mad. Hmm. Right? That's my Aunt Michelle right there. Let me see. Baby, say hi. Hi. That's my Aunt Michelle who helped raise me. That's my daughter, Selena. You know Selena, my basketball star. 
and that's Gigi. She is our family friend's cousin, and she's taking over from my daughter's hair. She's going to keep her locks up now. <laughs> she was waving. She was in the back waving. She said hi the first time. She all up in the camera say hi to the people. That's right. Okay, so now that I have Bella's food, she's not over here, but I got it ready for her. So when she comes back, I'll be like, okay, Bella, here you go. Cause she's gonna fuss. She's gonna fuss. There goes the car. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, while I'm waiting for my son Jeremiah, Jeremiah's gonna come and finish up the raised bed. But I'm so excited about how we're gonna. Three to five minutes, airplane. There we go. So what I'm excited about is the fact that we're going to actually be able to go to the raised bed that we did the other day. And we're going to be able to put a, a tray at the bottom, um, a holder for the, for the trays at the bottom. So I'll be able to hold like maybe 12 starter trays out of the way. Not that I should be potting 12 trays, but I'm going to be potting 12 trays of 72. Just trying to make it like, I don't, it doesn't all have to be at the same time, but in intervals, like once a month, a starter tray. That's not true. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is we have a lot of repotting to do. So I'm going to bring you down a little bit. Let's see. Maybe a little further down. Let's see. Okay. Yes. What's going on? Those are mine. I bought all those. She's telling me my mom's going to get me about the eggs because every year my mom would do a ginormous Easter egg hunt. She would have like a little over a thousand eggs or something like that. And all of the kids would come. Well, my mom passed um, this June 17th. I mean, sorry, January 17th. And so I was like, okay, well, my aunt, she took over, uh, took over Valentine's Day. She took over Valentine's Day and she made it very special for the kids. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to take over Easter. And so I had close to a thousand, maybe a thousand, maybe a little over Easter eggs. And we did a big Easter egg hunt with all the little kids. My kids, my six kids, well, no, four of my six were out here. And then um, I had the neighbor's kids and everything. So she was saying that my mom's going to get me. She said, Cookie's going to get you because the Easter eggs, I let them take all the candy, but I made them leave the eggs. So they're still on the stairs because we haven't put them in the garage yet. So she's telling me that my mom's going to get me. And I'm going to say this. As much as I miss her right now, I welcome her coming to talk mess to me. Because y'all don't know her. Well, those of you who don't know her, she talked a lot of mess. She was a great person, but she talked a lot of mess. Anyway, that's enough of that before I get sad. So, re, re, uh, re, repotting. Repotting the, the trees, I mean, the, the um, my mind is all messed up right now. Repotting the tomatoes and bell peppers is what I want to focus on right now. So, with that being said, let me get it together. Right, so, <laughs> I'm sitting here going, where are they? So, hold on for one second, because what I did is I went and bought more of the five-gallon pots. For $1.49 today, but I left them in the car. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, so look. See them? I have to go feed them. They are here and looking for their food. They all have to go to the farm with me. That's my whole point. I, I missed out on the St. Bernard. 
Just going at it. The rest of them will be around here later. When I was on my way to work this morning, I fed them. But they try to come a couple of times a day. So, the first thing I'm going to do is these eggshells. I'm going to take them and crush them up in the soil. The beauty of this for me is I get a lot of snails and slugs and caterpillars, not really worms over here because everything, I guess, because everything is in containers, I don't really get worms. So what I'm doing is I'm taking those eggshells and I'm going to put them in my soil so that if like the snails or hopefully even aphids, but if anything tries to come and eat up my soil, I mean, eat up my vegetables, they won't be there for long. So, let me bring you down. Let's see? Yeah, it's going to crush them up really good. You got to get the yard together. We have um, Sunday dinner every Sunday. And this Sunday, I'm going to be in there cooking my whole natural behind off. Even though, for the most part, I don't eat meat. What I told myself is because I cook Sunday dinner. And cooking Sunday dinner for me can take like a long time because it's a big family. So what I decided was I don't want to have to cook myself something separate. And I feel like I'm giving myself a treat if I eat what they eat once a week. So for the most part, I'm sticking to my eating plan. But at the same time, when I'm talking to the people, my aunt asked me, who was I talking to? Talking to you. I'm not going live. I can't go live yet. They said I can't go I can't go live unless I have a webcam, a webcam until I get um a thousand viewers. Okay, so I think that now I'm just gonna mix it around. And for those of you who don't know, yesterday when I was out here and I mixed this soil up, what I did is I put a little blood uh blood meal and bone meal in here and then I used some local soil from a local uh, nursery and then I mixed it with some uh, cow, cow manure and some Kellogg's raised bed soil okay so I have it together and now I just gave it some extra protein and potassium I believe it is with the with the eggs, so we should be good to go. Okay, so I got my new pots. Oh, okay. So let me say this. At the uh, nursery today. My disclaimer is I love gardening. Love, 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 love gardening. So that being said, I have to really watch myself because I have a very small space and i'm always trying to grow because here i can grow all year I, I don't have to stop i don't have um frost dates really none of that so i i get to garden all year round that being said 
have a lot of seeds. I had so many seeds. I had so many seeds. And then I had them in a grocery bag and I had the grocery bag in a five gallon bucket. And it hardly ever rains here, but this particular day it decided to rain and I didn't realize that my, my seeds were outside. So I lost almost all of my seeds. So I've had a great time replenishing my seeds. So I went today and I got some more seeds. I got fennel. So we've never had fennel. I understand it supposed, supposedly tastes like licorice. Even though we have never had it, I'm pretty sure that I can incorporate it into our diet. I got some more mustard seeds, some um, mustard green seeds, and there's the plant. Can you believe that this is a residential street and they drive like that, but they drive even worse. Oh, I can't wait. And there goes the plane. See? Three to five minutes. Got some other mustard seeds. And zona. And tuna. Some bergamot. I'm using the bergamot. The bergamot for me is really mostly because I make um, body butters and I make hair grease. And in my hair grease, the bergamot is really good. So, and the ice cream. Now, the thing about it is, that ice cream truck, all year round. I'll just wait. I can't even sing to this one because that's the bad song. That's the bad song. Oh, there goes Bella. Bella! Gave her her little doggy treat. Okay, so I've never seen this, but this is sweet meat. It's a squash. Sweet meat, see? Never heard of sweet meat before, but I said, okay. And then I saw this one, Lakota, I believe it is. That just looks like it's gonna be interesting to grow and hopefully really good to taste. So I got that, and then I got Honey Boat. Never seen Honey Boat. See that? Honey Boat, another squash. I said, okay, I'll get that. And then I got, I do not know how to say, oh wait, I know the perfect person to tell me how to say this. Baby, how do you, how do you pronounce this? One second, she can't really see it. Okay, see, the J is an H, right. My best friend, she's Latina, she's not here right now, but she would tell me, she would show me exactly how to say it. However, these look like they're gonna be so good. It says that it is, oh, it's called Chila, Ch 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 Chilcha? Chila, Chila, Ch Chilica, Chilica. And it says it's I mean, in, it, you know, in the fresh form and Pasila, Pasila as a dried pepper. It says it's uh, the thick, rich, smoky, mild, spicy flavor is indispensable in mole. Oh, I love mole in a double. So that's why, I, you know, when I get mole, when I buy the sauce, it's always like a chocolate color. But maybe some of the color comes from this. I know that mole has chocolate in it, but we're going to see. So I'm interested in that. Then I got some giant red mustards. So, got these today. And we're gonna put some of these in some soil. If, if I don't let, sorry about that. If I don't let time get past me. Okay, and then the other thing that I bought 
with some more potatoes. So these are Huckleberry Gold. So right now I have reds growing. I have red potatoes growing. But these, I guess, are purple because they're Huckleberry Gold. So we're going to put these in. I don't know if we're going to get to these today. But if not today, then definitely we'll get to these tomorrow. Okay, so these five, I mean, these one gallon containers were 49 cents. I said, okay, I'll take it because I have use. I'm not trying to buy things that I don't have a need for. I'm trying to buy, hello, Mr. Plain. I'm trying to buy things that I can honestly use and make it happen. Okay, so now that being said, let's get to get. So what I'm gonna do, See if I can bring you down a little bit more. I'm new to this, so please bear with me. Okay, perfect. All right, so all I'm going to do is fill these up with some soil really quickly so yeah that was a popsicle stick in there but it's okay it's biodegradable it'll break down in a compost and be just fine okay almost done with this one Okay, see, I didn't fill it completely up because once I get the plant that I'm going to put in there, it's going to need uh, more space. So all I'm going to do is shake the bottoms. Let me pause for one second. Okay, I'm back. So, we're just gonna shake it. Now this right here is a bell pepper. I'm gonna just shake it, pull it out. Oh, see, look at those roots. You see those roots? Those roots are coming through, looking good. All right, now. Oh, he is kind of low. That's okay. It'll grow. So now I'm just gonna cover it up. Like so. And what I did was when I was taking all of the um when I was taking all of the plants out of the old pots. I um I made sure that whatever loose soil I had left, I reused it. I replenished it, reused it. What you laughing at? I'm back recording. Okay, so I'm on the water. Bella's fussing at me. She'll be all right. I'm sure that they're gonna call her over there and come and play. What I'm doing because we don't really have a water hose. I have to use my little spear. She wants another one. Let me give her another snack. Let's see. Okay, hopefully that'll be enough. Because now that's what four little little cookies I've given her. Yes, baby. We'll see. Did you finish all of your schoolwork? What? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> right? Right? Because she knows I'm going to go track. Don't play with me. Especially if we're going to the beach. It's for to be going to the beach for a bonfire. So I have to hurry up. So I just want to give this some water because it'll make moving the soil so much easier. So this is just a two gallon, no, it's a one gallon pump. I have a two gallon pump, but I haven't brought her out yet. She's still in the box. I was the first person to move into my home back in 2009. And the... Oh, girl, no more. No more. You can get some more tomorrow. No, ma'am. I know. She wants me to give her some more cookies. No more doggy treats, Bella. Okay, so that should be good enough. Hopefully, let's see. Oh. This soil is dry. Look at that. Uh-oh, I lost you. And now I found you. You see that? Yeah, that wasn't enough. Not at all. Let me make this tighter. Let me continue watering. And see, that's the funny thing about her, because she's going to stay right over here by me and, and bark and puss. I mean, she has kids over there that she can be playing with. The owners are over there. But she wants to be right here up under me. And then all she wants to do is trust that. She's a man. That's one thing I can't wait till I move. When I move, I can't wait to get animals. That's kind of like, I don't know if you heard the conversation with my aunt earlier, but she was born, my family's from Detroit, Michigan. And my aunt, she's the only one that was born in Ypsilanti, Michigan, because my grandmother's aunt had a farm. They all got to go to the farm, but I didn't get to go. They all got to be with animals. They had animals. They had a St. Bernard and all kinds of stuff. I was never allowed any animals. So I'm like city, city. I'm scared of dogs. Don't like a lot of animals around me, but however, I'm learning to like and to appreciate and love animals. I love chickens. I never knew I was going to love chickens. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Okay, for you dog lovers, is she barking at me because she's mad at me? Is she barking at me because she likes me? Honestly, I don't know. She's wagging her tail. Do you guys know what kind of dog she is? She's a German Shepherd? Mixed with what? She's a black, I've never seen a German Shepherd that's black. I always thought she was like a... Really? That's crazy. I always thought that she was like a, um, a lab. Like a chocolate lab, a black lab or something. Is she barking at me because she's mad? 
This is a friendly bark. They said it's a friendly bark, okay. Because I give her treats and stuff. You see me throwing food at her and stuff all the time. She wants another snack, huh? Okay. She She's not going to leave me alone. Let me get her another snack. Okay. Bella? See, these look like regular cookies, huh? See, this looks like a regular little cookie. But it's a doggy snack. I got it at Petsco. Or Pet Smart, one of them. Okay, let's see. How we doing? Oh, she found somebody to go bark at. I have so much to do. But my goal is by Saturday to have this yard looking awesome. Okay. Yes, baby. What am I looking at? Why'd you take it apart? It was supposed to be one piece. One was really thin. One was really thin? Okay, so Selena is getting her locks. Her, uh, I don't like to call them dreadlocks, but her locks retwisted. She hadn't had them. My mom's funeral was March the 2nd, and so she got them, the last time she got them done was March the 1st, so that they would be fresh for my mom's funeral. And so, she thinks she look good. You go, girl. I love my kids. She's over there styling her profile now. Now, you're not gonna be able to tell her nothing because she's gonna be like, I know I look good. My, my basketball star right there. So, let me just put this out. If you live in the Los Angeles area, or if you know of someone that lives in the Los Angeles area, and they have like a basketball camp coming up, I don't know, I'm scared y'all because of COVID. I really am. But I really want to get her in camp. I don't know. But I'll just say, if you guys know anybody that knows anything about a basketball camp out here in Los Angeles for girls, please send me a comment so that I'll know. Oh, okay. Tell me how to say it. If you like the content, what is it? Click. Click, subscribe. Like, Click like and subscribe. Oh, I always yeah. forget to say that. Click like, subscribe, and if you like to share, did I say it right? Okay. Share my video because I cannot go live until I get a thousand people, and I'm really trying to get to a thousand. Heck, right now I'm trying to get to a hundred. But I'm okay with baby steps. Okay, so this should be. On point now. Let's see. I'm leaving this because I believe it just needs some water. But it survived. It's still alive.
that will decompose. So I'm not worried about it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, let me turn it up. Well, I'll leave it here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn this into a little herb garden. So I have some starts I'm gonna put here. So give me one second. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna plant some sorrow and I am going to plant some comfrey and you are oh some rue now I have my own cosmetic line and what I do in my cosmetic line is I make shampoos body washes you know body butters lotions stuff like that but everything I use is medicinal I use like a lot of well all my agents are pure 100% moringa all that kind of stuff and so what I'm doing right now is I want to stop paying to buy all these different oils and everything. I want to grow everything myself. So that's why I have the sorrow. Centronella right here so that I can, this is my centronella plant. It needs some help. I'm going to be helping it out. But this is my centronella plant that I'm going to be making for the summertime. And this is the comfrey. This is the root. This is the sorrow. So I'm about to plant these inside of here really quick. So I'm gonna take this, because this can grow pretty wide. I'm gonna put this over here in the corner all by itself. Woo, look at that rock, that root. Look at that, scratch it up a little bit. See if you can see me. You know what? I think I need to plant it a little bit to the first. Comfrey. And I'll know that that's comfy because I have another one growing in a, a pot over there on the other side. You better run. Was it bothering you? What, the chicken? Uh huh. Oh no, you know oh. I was getting ready to leave. I thought that thing in my car. <laughs> Don't be bothered by chickens. I love chicken. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you know what? You know. She no, loves chicken, not that. chickens, but chicken. Okay. I think I need to make this a little deeper. Selena.
my neighbor. You got it? You got it? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Just keep in contact, okay? Absolutely, because um, I guess you are her new hair. Yeah, she just asked me. That's her new lactician. <laughs> You're her new lactician. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you can break it, right? You mm -hmm. it? Better braid it. Oh. So today is the 14th? Is it? Yeah. Okay, so we want to do it in two weeks. Um, I'm gonna let you make that decision on your own, my love. So this is the sorrow. Oh no. Okay. I think that this sorrow, I'm gonna put it in a gallon container. Yeah. Well, you know what, everybody, you guys, if you have watched this video up to this far, I just want to thank you. It's getting kind of dark and I got to get in there and cook dinner. So I'm going to stop. Oh, but I will show you this. Okay. So this is the raised bed that we just got through building. And we put the cabbage and everything in there. So we have a cabbage right here, cabbage right there, cabbage right there. And then we have some spinach over there red cat cabbage no red what is it red lettuce over there and then we have some mixed lettuce right here so we'll see how that how that turns out but i'm going to finish this up oh yeah. i'm going to finish this up and then i'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit and then get inside so i will see you tomorrow enjoy your evening have a great day